Good morning. My name is Kalinka Lopez. I am 13 years old and I'm here to share my story. Okay, so when I was four years old, I came to live better to live with my dad because my mom was going through legal issues and eventually got locked up. My dad, well, <laughs> he was working nights at the time, so the only people I was with and raised by were my grandparents and my uncle. My dad exposed me to his street life, like drug dealing, drinking, partying, women coming in and out of the house. My dad and I shared a well, it really wasn't sharing because I slept at night and he slept in the morning. My dad put me in baseball and I almost always had a baseball game. I s I'd be so happy at my baseball game until I'd see my mom. When I seen her there, my mood went from joy to anger. You must be sitting in confusion right now because of what I said. But yes, I hated to see my mom at my baseball game. Most kids would love to see the parents that they don't have, just to be by them, you know. And I despised it. I felt like she had owed me something because she wasn't with me, and I didn't know how to love her. Even if we would have one game that day, I always came back home in defeat. I'd lay in bed with my dad, my anger, and my loneliness. Every other night was lonely. All the loneliness built the wall between the world and I. I gave her my utmost respect because my dad had taught me. And that was the right thing to do. About two years passed and we moved. But we're still in Lebanon. And chaos and streets come with us. Two more years passed and my mom and my sister moved. Then, my dad and I got invited to church with my dad's friend. So, we went. And we kept going. We kept going and kept going. Some Sundays, I would see my mom barely coming from partying that Saturday night. Barely coming at 8 in the morning pulling up in the driveway when we were going to church. My dad sat me down and asked me to forgive him for all that he'd done to me. And he had explained what we are doing and that what, I, that what Jesus had done in his life and how he changed him. And I forgave him and I understood Weeks go by and I had the guts and faith to ask my mom to go to church with us. And I wasn't going to take no for an answer. And she accepted. 
27. I soon accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And my mom rededicated herself. Look at how God is working in lives. That's, that's the greatest thing about it. 